I use Canva very extensively and recently Canva added 10 new features. They are amazing and I'm going to explore all those features in this video. The first one is called Brand Hub. What is branding? Branding means consistency in the design. So you have colors, you have fonts, you have logos, you have visual elements, graphics. So all these components, rather than copy pasting every time from uploads, you have them in Brand Hub. So let's explore how to use Brand Hub effectively. What is the use of this? If you have your branding guidelines, you can put all your stuff in a single place and use it consistently for design. So this is my brand kit. You can create templates from it. It contains logos. This is my color palette and I can have more than one if I want to. And that's it. Now, based on this, I can create templates and I can also have brand controls where people can only choose these colors, only choose these fonts and designs have to be approved. Now, even if you don't want to go to that extent, having all your fonts, colors and graphics in one place definitely makes it easier to create consistent designs. I work across many countries and very often the content I create needs to be translated into other languages. So the next topic is translate. There is a built-in translate functionality in Canva. Earlier we had to get it translated through some other tool. Now it can happen natively. Let's look at that feature quickly. The next thing is translate. It is so nice. You will be surprised as to why you have never tried it. Let's go with this sample. Doesn't matter. So I've already created one page which contains some English text and I want to translate it to another language. Of course, I can use thousand other tools, but look at the benefit. I choose the language and say translate and it doesn't even ask me what to do. It does the translation obviously, but it adds it as a separate page so it doesn't disturb my original design. Nothing else is going to do that for you. So start using this and save that copy paste from translate tool to design tool because the design tool itself is smart. Everyone is talking about AI based compositions, AI based writing. You give a thought and AI will write the titles, descriptions, blogs for you. That is already available in Canva. It's called Magic Write. So you give it an idea and it'll expand on it. This is the AI thing which everyone is praising for chat GPT and similar things. So you tell this what you want to write and it will write it creatively. It's like compose option of Bing. So let's say I want to conduct a training program for office. Simple, effective, useful. Now from here itself you can go on to create design heading, subheading and all that and convert this into a proper visual if you like. Background removal has always been there in Canva. Very nice feature but now it has got enhanced. Now there is another feature called magic edit and magic eraser where you can actually remove unwanted parts from a picture and replace them with something completely different. So it's generative AI with Photoshop like eraser. Amazing. Let's have a look at it. This time I'll not take their sample example. I will use my picture. So when I click on a picture, I get edit and in edit, I get magic eraser and magic edit both. So let's just try the eraser first. So let's say I want to remove this PC from here. I'm going to just do like this and let's get rid of the monitor as well. Let's see how it works. Depending on the kind of picture and complexity, this may or may not work exactly as expected, but in my experience, it does a fairly good job. Now let's undo that and try the other one, which is magic edit. It also works like uh, eraser. So you say what you want to get rid of and what you want to replace it with, which is interesting. So I said, this is the part I want to manipulate. And then what do you want to change it to? Now, none of these I want to. I just want to say new. Okay. And let's see what it does. I have not tried it before, but this is an illustration of identify area of interest and replace it with something else. Hopefully it will do a good job. Usually it gives variations, four variations, and you choose from them. Wow, that is amazing. So it has given me one two, three, 
and four. <laughs> Outstanding. One of the unbelievable new features is magic presentations. Usually, how do you create a presentation? You think of the topics, you break them down into slides, then you put content, then you beautify it, then you put visuals. It's a long process. Magic presentation allows you to start with a thought and automatically creates a presentation, not just with visuals, but actual content and storytelling. Let's have a look at that. So what does it ask you? It says, uh, uh, give me something which you want to present. So uh, training, whatever. Okay. And now that's all I'm providing and say enter. It doesn't ask me any questions. It says I'm going to create the presentation. It is going to ask me some style. So let's say I like this one. And then there are template styles. Of course, there are more. Let's see what I like. Let's say this one looks more sober. So this is the style. And um, this is the. OK, now I'm just saying create. Now notice what it did. It actually created 10 slides out of this. And they are not just having pictures. They have text also. The only thing I told him is a training program on Excel and Power BI. That's it. Now look at it. The title is not just a copy paste. It does show analytics. What will you learn? Okay, nice. This is automatically I did all this, by the way. I did not provide any of this. So it's not just the visuals and layout and colors. It's actually understood the topic and it has created a fairly good storyline content in a logical order. So it created separate for Excel, advanced Excel, Power BI, visualization separate, dashboard separate, and a combination. And then of course I want to give certificate. Amazing stuff. This is beyond amazing. I am assuming the upcoming Microsoft Copilot also adds these features, but this is already there. Freehand drawing was not available in Canva natively earlier. Now it is. So let's see how to use the draw feature of Canva. So what do you do? You just use these tools and draw. This was something which was not there earlier. It was sort of a lacuna. So it's like a whiteboard interface. You use the pens, choose the colors. Uh, no, you don't have those office type of sparkling colors, standard colors and then you just draw. That's all there is to it. There is a highlighter as well and thickness. So nothing spectacular, but just gets the job done and allows you to add or remove things. This is a stroke eraser, by the way. Stroke eraser means what? If I have drawn something like this, one, two, three, four strokes, and I go to eraser, I touch it, the entire stroke is gone. I don't have to do one small piece at a time. So that's about draw. Now, when you start with a design, you have to think of the layout, the components, the text, the alignment, all that can happen with magic design. You start with an idea, upload an image, and the design will be generated for you. Let's see how magic design works inside Canva. Now, this is equivalent to Microsoft Designer or Microsoft Designer is equivalent to this, whatever you want to call it. So let's say I'm going to insert some picture first. I'll just put Excel logo because it's here. And now I'm also going to put a headline. Add to results. It has already created this, put some placeholder text. And now you go to style, you change it and job is done. So very easy to create this. So for example, I want this as a Instagram post. Notice it understands what it means and it has automatically changed it. Beautiful stuff. And now you can take this, customize this and do whatever you want. I don't know why PowerPoint came here, but no problem. I can just crop this. Oh, I had, I had a picture with word Excel and PowerPoint. Never mind, but now it's a Canva design. You can do whatever you like. A lot of copy paste is eliminated. I'm sure you are aware of 
mid journey dali 2 and stable diffusion kind of apps these are ai based tools where you specify just the idea in text and then it will generate an image for you it's very very popular nowadays what you don't know is also this is available inside canva so let's explore text to image in canva many people don't know that this is right there in canva as we speak no copy paste involved no separate subscription so let's try something i'm going to so what do we really need here we need an object or a noun we have two cat and laptop we need a verb cat is working on the laptop and generally you need an adjective adjective as well so let's make the cat angry so here it is it has generated four variations and you choose the one you like it's that simple quite realistic beautiful yes there are some artifacts this one looks slightly better this one looks even better so you can tweak the prompt and play with it you can also choose styles for example if i select this one and i want it to pop out no problem in one click that will happen so there are so many styles to choose from so make sure you use all the features and then use it correctly i'm sure you found this useful to continue learning more subscribe click on the bell icon like the video and share it with your colleagues if you have any queries feel free to post them as comments and before you go i have this really useful thing about how to present effectively in powerpoint have a look at that video as well so that is all for now see you next time bye bye